Guys, so Jess Glynn has been trending number one for like the last 48 hours because she has irritated so many people and rightly so because I don't understand how tone deaf you can actually be. Like, wow. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, subscribe to the channel and let's get into this quick fire video. Jess Glynn, like, she apparently is very successful, had a lot of number ones, but I honestly cannot name one of them. And I genuinely find her voice, personal preference, but I just find her voice is not for me. I find it just to be, yeah, it's not the one. Long story short, she posts a picture of herself in her hoodie, um, in some shoes, um, with a Gucci bag, I believe. And she says, Dear sexy, 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 dear sexy, dear fish London, I turned up to your restaurant looking like this and you looked me and my friend up and down and said no you can't come in and your restaurant was empty i then went to you who greeted me and my friend with pure joy and we had a banging meal with wicked service please check yourself if this is how you treat people because it's not rude because it's rude off-putting embarrassing and most definitely not inviting we were made to wait and two members of staff came to look at us and made a decision based on our appearance i think the attitude of your staff needs to change as that was pure discrimination thanks and bye so this has really irritated a lot of people somebody said if anyone asks what privilege is i'm just going to point them to jessica Lynn, complaining that she's been discriminated against because she can't wear a hoodie whilst eating 300 pounds sushi in Mayfair and I just feel like how tone deaf can you be to take that picture write that caption put it up and think you did something think you did that when beloved you definitely did not do that what you did was just a massive mess it just highlighted just how snobbery you are and just how snobbery you are and just the kind of just obnoxious kind of behavior when that particular restaurant has a dress code, do not come in hoodies, they said, do not come in this, yet here you are coming in the exact opposite, complaining about being discriminated. Uh, listen, a white woman complaining about being discriminated, don't piss me off, please. When you're going to these posh restaurants, you don't come in, you don't dress in hoodies, you don't. And I feel like you dress the best, you dress to what you like and to what you think is cute and that looks smart when you're going to a really nice place. That's what you intend to do so. Yes, there is a classist problem as well and I feel like that in itself is more so pertained to the fact that um, you, the idea of being rejected because of what you're wearing, like people, regardless of class, will dress their best when it goes to coming to a posh restaurant. And I genuinely feel like she is being tone deaf. I'm just not here for a white woman to be screaming about discrimination because of the choice of clothing. You can change that choice of clothing. People of color cannot change their skin color. Like, it, do you understand what I mean? So it's not really based, like you wore a hoodie, wore the dirtiest shoes I've seen in life, and you're going to this place and you're confused that they're rejecting you. I, like it just doesn't make any sense and it's just tone deaf. The funniest most tragic thing about the whole Jessica Lynn saga is that an actual working class person going to eat 300 pound sushi in Mayfair would dress up. A weird posh girl who wants to pretend that she's working class would dress like she's off down the petrol station. Like, this is everything wrong with celebrity culture. Jess Glynn, who would have been lecturing us on privilege for the last month, is claiming she has been discriminated against because she wasn't allowed to dine in a restaurant, which has a clear dress code wearing you know, which the chick wearing a hoodie is not allowed. So, she's getting slammed. She thought she did something, child. She thought she did something with that post and she did not, definitely did not do that. Let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this because this is heating up the timeline in the UK, trending number one. Everybody is talking about it. Subscribe, let me know your thoughts are and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.